I convened a hearing today in Washington of the Bankruptcy Subcommittee of Senate Judiciary uh, and chaired a hearing on student loan debt. My witnesses included the Attorney General of the State of Illinois, Lisa Madigan. I asked her to come out and testify about the investigation that's underway in our state of one particular college, Westwood College, but of other for-profit colleges. The problem is this. It turns out that Westwood is offering a degree in law enforcement, which is worthless. As students have found out years after they've gone to school and finally get this diploma, head off to local uh, law enforcement agencies, they don't recognize Westwood College as a legitimate degree. Unfortunately, those students have incurred up to $70,000 in student loan debt before they come to this realization. That story is being repeated over and over and over again. And the federal bankruptcy law gives to Westwood College and their private loans special treatment under the law so that it can't be discharged in bankruptcy. That's got to come to an end. We've got to start thinking about the students and their families and make sure that when they invest their time and the family money, they're going to get their money's worth. I thank Attorney General Madigan for being here. Her, her uh, testimony about Westwood and her investigation really brings this home. Lisa? Well, I want to thank Senator Durbin for his focus on for-profit colleges and some of the abuses that uh, they engage in, as well as holding a hearing today to talk about the new debt bomb, which is going to be the student debt bomb, as we have seen from talking to hundreds of Westwood students in Illinois. Uh, people had high hopes. People young and old were signing up to go to school to gain skills and hopefully get a job in law enforcement by getting a criminal justice degree. And what they turned out with was being saddled with fifty to seventy thousand dollars worth of debt and no ability to get a job in law enforcement because the Westwood degree did not have regional accreditation. Unfortunately, Westwood is not the only private college that is doing these sorts of things to students. And so our investigations will continue, as will our lawsuit against Westwood. But families need to be very careful before signing up for a program. I think Senator Durbin and I would recommend for people who want to go on to college, who need to get new skills, a new degree, or an initial degree, start at a community college. Illinois has a wonderful, wonderful group of community colleges throughout the state that provide an affordable education and an opportunity for students to determine what direction they want to go uh, in a way that we have seen is much better so far than uh, what the private colleges are providing. And let me just say too, uh, I'm sitting here today because I borrowed money to go to college, a federal student loan in my day. And federal student loans today are much better for students. 3.4% interest as opposed to 11 to 18% for private loans. They have an arrangement uh, that if you fall in hardship, you can defer payment on your federal loan for a period of time. There's also an opportunity for loan forgiveness if you go into certain fields in public service. So the federal loan is the first and best stop for those who need to borrow money. But as Attorney General Madigan said, students and their families need to sit down and ask the hard questions. Don't fall for the hype and advertising when it comes to some of these people who are trying to get you into for-profit schools in particular. Ask those hard questions and make sure you invest your time and money and your family's future in the right school and the right pursuit of a degree. So this testimony today will be part of the testimony we gather for considering federal legislation. I'm hoping by this July we can start some reform actions to deal with the student debt crisis.